The philosophy of Housing First is you don't have to do you don't have to do something right to deserve a home first. Everybody deserves to have a place to live. What does it take for your own life um, to be successful? Uh, and certainly all of us could agree that having a decent, safe, affordable place to live, lay your head every night, not have to worry about where you're going to sleep, um, is step one. Well, Housing First is really a principle, I guess, and it's the principle that if you provide someone with housing first, they can start to achieve some of the things that they're looking at doing. It's evidence-based too, which is fantastic. You can take the most hardcore homeless person who's been homeless for years and years and years, haven't been housed, they might have had some shelter stays in there or something along those lines, and a lot of people would say that person, is impo it's impossible to house them or they're not ready for housing yet. And it says, no, that's not true. You can take any person and if you provide them with the right supports, you give them the housing first, and then and if, if there's other issues, if there's addictions issues on the go with them, basically it says, worry about those afterwards. No one's going to address some really serious issues, really deeply buried stuff. You're not going to get at those issues until the person's housed. Housing First is also about, yeah, that follow-up support. It's the housing first, but what comes second is the support, which enables them to work on some of these other issues, which have contributed to their homelessness over the years. The support, it just means having someone to talk to when you need it. Sometimes it means if, if you need to see a doctor or you need to navigate a system and you're not sure how to do it, that you have someone there to kind of show you the way and, and just to help you along. You know, it's people solve their own problems. Um, they just need someone to help them kind of find a way to do that. Housing First is also about, about choice, so a lot of times when people are in situations where they're homeless, they might only be present, presented with one option, here's your option, you can move out to this place. They're kind of told, or how it's presented to them, is that it's their only option. It's the only thing you can afford, you can't afford an apartment, so you got to go live in this bed sitter. And, well, if you're only presented with one option, and you're not given legitimate choice, you, you may not that may not work for you on a long-term basis. So Housing First goes on the principle of choice as well, that the individual has to feel like they have some choice over where they're going so that they feel good about the place that they're moving into. And, and oftentimes people can't do well if, if they're living in a bed-sitting room and they don't have the supports that they need and they don't know who's living in the room next door to them. But when you have a home that's supported and you, have some, you feel some level of safety in your house, and you know somebody cares about you. I think it makes a big difference. What I relate to is, is my own life, and for anyone listening to this, their lives. You know, if you didn't have a safe, stable place to live, it's hard to imagine, you know, the other areas of your life working very well. Um, so to provide someone with a decent, safe, you know, affordable place to live is step one in terms of, you know, dealing with all those other issues that stand in, in the way of the lives of young people.